Hey folks, uh, just stopping in to talk to everybody about a class that I'm going to be instructing at. Um, working with a company called Blackhawk Defense, and December the 2nd and 3rd, they're having the Illinois CCW class in Alsip, a place called Village Sportsman Club. And I'm going to put links to all of it down in the description. They're running the Illinois CCW class for $125 for the 16-hour class, and it's $100 for military veterans because they take a, a slightly abridged version of it. So if you're interested in taking a class with me, I'm going to teach some of the law component and the interacting with law enforcement component. And I'm going to stick around for the fun part later because they're going off to the range and we're going to discuss hypotheticals with people and use of force things and stuff like that. So if you're interested, there are spots open in the class. It's coming up. I know it's kind of short notice, but it's a Saturday and Sunday and I'm going to be there. I'm going to come hang out. We're going to have a bunch of fun. So I will put all of the information down in the description below when we are done with the live stream. I think that's it. I wrote myself notes. Hold on. Um, you can go to their website, which I'm going to put down there, or you can call uh, the phone number. I'll put the phone number down there either because no one's going to write it off of me writing it on here. But that's it. I'm going to be there. I'm not going to be there the second, uh, December 2nd. I am on vacation that week, so I'm actually going to be out of town. But December 3rd, I'm going to be back in town, and I'm going to be... Uh, instructing quite a large portion of that class. I'm going to be there to answer other questions. I know people like talking to me and I like talking to them. So if you're in the Chicagoland area, you want to take the Illinois CCW class, or you just want to take it as a refresher or to come by and say hi, I always suggest people get a license to do anything the state will give them a license to do. Even if you're not going to carry a gun, it makes sense to have a CCW just like in Illinois. It makes sense even if you're not going to own a gun to have a FOID card in the same way that it makes sense to have a driver's license if you're not, even if you don't own a car, right? Like, have a license to do something. And this is a pretty reasonable cost to be able to do the Illinois CCW class. I know like three years ago, companies were charging like $500 to do the class. So it ended up being $500 to do the class and then a bunch more money to get the license and then a bunch more money to go to the range. Uh, I'll put the phone number down below. You can call the guy or you can email the company and ask him questions about it. But December 2nd and 3rd, I'm going to be there th is the class. I'm going to be there the 3rd. It's 125 bucks to take it. So that's, that's really reasonable for a CCW class, especially in Illinois. Before I get to comments, uh, a whole bunch of stuff coming up. I got the uh, Through Night TN30. That thing's a behemoth. Look at this thing. I can't even get my, my hand all the way around it. It's supposed to be really bright. Like, really bright. And it's supposed to be a thrower, too, so I'm going to be playing with this. It actually takes four 18650 batteries, which means I have to go find four of them. It'll be a Christmas gift to myself. Uh, WowTech sent another one of these uh, adjusting beam flashlights. We're going to be looking at that. Uh, though This one is the S model, so it's the 1000 lumen model. We'll see if this throws a little better, because the other one didn't throw bad. This one hopefully throws a little bit better. It looks like it's about the same... Uh, bezel and everything and it just has a slightly upgraded LED so that should be interesting see how this throws compared with other lights we got the patches patches are out they're on the website $10 free shipping anywhere inside the United States if you want it shipped outside the United States it's another 6 bucks but uh, people have been getting these I've been sending them in the mail the normal mail people have been getting them they are up on the website freefieldtraining.com back uh, slash merch and I'll, I'll put a link for that down in the description when we're done here, too. But they're up there. And what else? Uh, Bravo Concealment sent me one of their outside the waistband holsters, one of their inside the waistband holsters, and a mag carrier. And I would show them to you, but I'm wearing them right now. And no one wants, like, full-on view on video of my crotch. So we're going to wait on that to a later date. But I'm wearing them and kind of testing and evaluating them now. Uh, I've been telling all these companies there's like a two-month turnaround time on almost everything because I've got so much stuff to do. I've got educational videos up on the Patreon. There's uh, what cops' responsibilities are in court, and my trunk bag video is up there, and there's something else I'm forgetting. Now I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I've got other stuff that's up on the, on the Patreon, and we're now over the $200 level on Patreon which was the goal that I set at Patreon when we started. And so as long as we stay up at that level, any new videos that I upload on there, they're not going to have any pre-roll ads, at least not from my end. Uh, YouTube will put ads on stuff anyway, uh, but 
the pre-roll ads seem to be directly correlated with whether or not I click the thing that says they can have pre-roll ads. So if you're on Patreon and you're not going in and watching the videos on the regular, there's new stuff that's up there. And as I'm doing this when I'm on these studies when I'm on vacation, they're going to start going up there too. But I'm like three weeks ahead on educational videos. The trunk bag one, everyone's really interested in, that's up there right now. And I'm hoping to release that Thursday. I've got the Safe Life Defense uh, booth review that I'm either going to put out later today or tomorrow, depending on when I get home. <laughs> got stuff to do today. But uh, that's about it. That's everything I got to talk about. Oh, and I've got the Stat Medical Gear uh, bleed control kit that I got to do a tabletop on. Pretty cool cut bag. It comes actually comes with two of their tourniquets. It's got like two of everything inside of it, which is pretty cool. Instead of getting a kit for like a hundred dollars that's got one of this and one of that and one of that, this has got two of everything. I think it's like eighty-five bucks, which isn't bad. And there's an upgrade package for it where you can get uh, C locks or Quick Clot or whatever the version of it is, and that costs a little bit more. But for eighty-five bucks to get two of everything you would need for major trauma control, other than the C locks. It's pretty good. This is something you can just buy and you know put it in the back of the squad, which is where I've been I've been mounting this. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been mounting it on the fire extinguisher of the car at work. And I think when I get done with the review, that's probably where it's gonna live forever. Because this is this is a good thing to be able to go go in the back of my car and get the red bag <laughs> that says bleed control. And so we'll be able to just grab this and yank on it and these little snaps will pop off. It's meant to be mollied on the back, but the little snaps will pop off. People will be able to take it wherever. And I'm gonna be start uh, telling people at work about stat turner kit and how to use them. And now I've got several of them, and they're sending me more, so I might just hand them out to guys at work to try to, like, you know, get ahead of it. Or I might put them in this, so we've got them when we need them. But, uh, should be pretty cool. That one's coming up. And I'm sure there's stuff I'm forgetting. So, we're going to go up to the top. Let's roll the top. <coughs> uh, William says, love the videos. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on. William was here before... I even saw that I was live. He was already on commenting. Hi, hi, yo, yo. Please grow the face armor back, brother. I, I would love to for vacation because I'm going out of town and stuff. We're taking the kids to Polar Express, and I've been saving them for a while. Doing Polar Express, which is this thing in Michigan. Or like they go on a train, like the Polar Express thing is pretty cool. And uh, I want, I'm taking them to an indoor water park up in Wisconsin for uh, a few days. So that's like the big vacation of the year for my kids. In the middle of winter in Chicago, it's nice to be able to like look out the window while you're in a hot tub and be like, oh, it's snowing out there. That sucks. <laughs> and not have to leave the whole weekend. So that'll be fun. Uh, I was thinking about growing it back, but I can only get so much in a week and I, I got videos that I want to shoot in the between time when I'm on vacation. So I don't I don't want to look scruffy on video. You know what I mean? Like, baby face is bad enough and, and I, I like facial hair. I would love to have the beard back, but I don't know if I... I don't want to just look scruffy. In the first couple of weeks you're growing a beard, just kind of look like a hobo. I don't want to look like a hobo. That's kind of not the impression I want to give people. <sighs> Hold on. I'm glad that no one has engaged this person in conversation, at least. So, that'll be the end of that. Uh, somebody said something racist. I'm not a fan of that. Brandon, 762 by 39 says, I love to watch the live streams while I'm at work. Right now, I am sitting with an inmate in our custody at the detention center. Don't get caught watching while you're working. Uh, William says, that's awesome. I wish Maryland wasn't so restrictive. You know, it's pretty bad when uh, when you're jealous of people living in Illinois for their gun laws. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could deal with that. I've thought before about going to California. People are like, California is beautiful. You should come out here. There's so much work to do, and you make so much money working in law enforcement in California. I'm like, I don't think I can deal with that. <laughs> I don't think I can deal with having to buy something off a list. That just, I don't know. Maybe that's the way the whole country will be in 20 years. But for right now, I think I'll stay here. Uh, Christian Law Officer says, I love your videos. By the way, I own a security and law enforcement training academy, so I learn stuff from you that I mention in classes sometimes. Uh, keep up the cool content. Hey, thank you. Feel free to steal the stuff that I talk about and the concepts that I give and twist them around and make them your own or do whatever you're going to do with them as long as you're you're helping with the entire profession, right? Also, feel free to uh, link people to a video if you like it. 
more than happy to take more viewers, more content, more subscribers, stuff like that. The stuff is here. I'm not I'm not like these firearms instructors on the internet who are like, that was my concept and I named it after me and don't use it and blah, blah, and you have to give me credit for it. Hey, if you mention the channel or my name or something, that's great. If you forget, I'm not going to hate you for it, right? But like this stuff is here for people to learn. What I really care about at the end of the day is that more people are in less danger. What's everyone's professions? Well, I'm a cop. Abraham Hernandez says, so when I see you, I'll get a police patch from your department Said since you said, if I find you and see you face to face, I'll get one. I don't have any patches from my department to give to people. I wish I did. They're actually pretty tight on the patches. I had to go get eight of them to get new short sleeve and long sleeve uniforms last year. And the, the clerk at work looked at me really funny. She's like, I better not find these up on the internet somewhere. I'm like, who wants to buy this? But... I got these. I got a whole bunch of these. If you find me in person, I always have one of these on me. I keep one in my lunch bag. So if you find me at work, if you like happen through and you find me drinking coffee or eating a donut or eating breakfast or something, and you go, oh, hey, it's Tommy from Free Field Training. Dude, do you have any patches? I got these, right? At least for right now. <laughs> Until I say otherwise, I got these and I can get you one. And if you find me just out and about in person, I give these out to people, right? I'm out and about. I normally have one stuck to my jacket, so this time of year, if you see me, this is going to be on my jacket. Come talk to me. Say hi. Right? Don't be a jerk. Probably get a patch. And sometimes I'll have extra ones in the in the jacket pocket. Uh, Ricking says corrections myself. CCW question mark? Yes, that's the class. Hello from Utah. Hello from Illinois. Okay, class, get your pens and papers ready and settle down. Okay. How do I get a free field training patch? I'm going to put a link down when we're done with the live stream for the website. They're on the website. In fact, I think I'll even put it, I'll put a link right for the patch. And you just order it. I've been shipping them out every couple days. I, I get a bunch of them together and mail them out. People have been getting them. I've been, been getting pictures from people of them wearing their patches and of the patches when they get them in. So, hey, take a picture. Send it to me. Or uh, tag me on Instagram with it. I'm on Instagram. Uh, Justin Cowan says, I start FTO 1 January 2018, and I'm currently on the treadmill, but had to watch. <laughs> the treadmill is the best place to watch YouTube. Hey, Chief, not a Chief, not even a Sergeant. Uh, Black Dolphin says, if I wear a bunch of books as body armor and a cooking pot on my head, can I join the riot squad and not be called a pothead? Nope, I think people are going to make fun of you. Uh, Brandon says, here locally, there has been a criminal trend where they were going in a fast food restaurant four guys deep and robbed the place and its patrons at Mass Gunpoint. What do you think? What do you, what do, you do in this situation? you got to be reasonable about things, right? Like the average person, it, me, if I'm in that situation and I can lay low, right, and not engage in a gunfight, they want the money, they can have the money, right? That's the, that's the reality of it. Right? And that's why I teach my family and friends, like, you do not, if something like that happens, go saying, my buddy's a cop, or Tommy, do something. No, you don't say that. Right? Because you limit the tactical options that you have. I mean, even the best of us, what are we carrying? Right? Glock 17 or Glock 22 at the best. Normally something smaller than that, significant, most people significantly smaller than that. I mean, like, the tactical guys carry a Glock 19, which is significantly less firepower well, not, maybe not significantly, but it's less firepower than a Glock 22 or a Glock 17, a full-size gun, for all the various reasons. And uh, and you, you know, you're not carrying medical equipment, at least not enough to deal with multiple gunshot victims. You're not wearing body armor, so you're like you're not identified properly, so it's there's there's limited stuff you can do there. I, I wouldn't go engaging unless I had to. Now, if they start hurting people into the back room, nothing ever comes from when they hurt people in the back room. Maybe then it's time to start rolling the dice, but... It's all situationally dependent, and that situation does not sound like one where you want to immediately go to, well, let's go engage these four guys with guns. When are you coming to Long Island and joining the NYPD's Explorers? Any advice? When? I'm not. I don't know what that... Well, I don't know what the question was. I'm sorry. Uh... Black Dolphin says, you're a very generous guy for educating officers and people with your insight and experience. Thanks and keep up the great work. I do what I love, right? I just got done with my new guy. 
Yesterday was his last day, and so now it's time to start getting on the FFT stuff again. Start looking at products, start putting out educational videos, start doing live streams more. I do what I can, right? I do what I can. It's my it's my side gig. Good show, buddy. I'm glad you like it. Leo Roundtable is on, and they do live streams all the time. So everybody that wants to talk about political stuff and the newest things in the news, go check out Leo Roundtable. They're on YouTube, and they, they do segments, and if you catch them live, you can watch the whole thing at once. I've been trying to bug them to just do the whole thing at once and post that up on YouTube, because I would just sit there and listen to it in my car, but they like to segment it off. I don't know why, but it is very entertaining. Go check them out. Christian Law Officer says, Pennsylvania right outside Philadelphia. Oh, they're talking back and forth to each other. I'm sorry. Carlos says, thanks for making the vids, man. A lot of great practical information for the average Joe that is looking for a no-nonsense look in EDC safety training. I'm glad it helps. I'm a uh, Speller says I'm a British police constable. It's interesting to see the similarities in law work ethics. Dude, people are people. You know what I mean? Like, that's my wife, my lovely wife. Sex message me, bugging me how long this is taking. Uh, people are people. And, you know, having to deal with people is the same regardless of where those people are at most of the time. So it's not unusual that it's, you know, it's very similar. And I'm glad to hear that. I would love to hear about the differences. So if you got ideas for videos and talking about differences, man, send me an email or something. I'd, I'd love to hear more about it. I love talking to people outside of the United States because I think it's astounding that the people in the United States think that the whole world is like this. And for anybody that's ever traveled outside the United States, you know there's a radical difference in the way things are done. And sometimes it's interesting how much it's the same. Anna says, finally able to catch one of your live streams. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. Glad you like them. Please answer my question is the discussions tab. I don't know what he's, I don't know what Colin's talking about. I'm, I'm slightly technology stupid, so you, you got to go easy on me. William says, Christian Law Officer, what's the name of the academy and how much would it cost? Okay, they're talking to each other. Never mind, Sorry. Uh, Unshelled Pilot says, what would you say is the number one tool slash gear or cop slash security that you would never leave home without? Like for work? You're looking at it. Preacher, you ever play the meow game when you pull someone over? <laughs> Oh, that's a conversation for alcohol, my friend. And I am not nearly drunk enough to tell stories from work. Uh, Melissa says, thanks for all for making all these videos. I am applying to RSCMP soon. I think we can do things a bit differently in Canada, but this channel has still been a great help about the job from Yukon Canada. Thank you for watching, Melissa. Uh, Galantamon, congratulations on getting in the Academy. Have fun. Uh, William, I do arms, armed security in Maryland. There are so many things that we have to be mindful of, and I'm trying to be an SPO. I don't know what an SPO is, but good luck. Harry says, why do you have to be a CO for two years before becoming a Cook County Sheriff? Well, the the COs in Cook County are sheriffs. It's, it's different departments of the same agency, and I don't know what their current policies are, whether you have to work in the jail for two years before you can go to Sheriff's Police. That's what we call it here, Cook County Sheriff's Police. I don't know if that's still a thing. But you'd have to ask them. Uh, a lot of agencies think that time in the jail teaches you a lot of valuable stuff that you are going to use later on the street. And I don't think that's unreasonable to think that. Although I think a more legitimate answer would be because they need people in the jail and that's to get you to do corrections for a couple of years um, because they don't have anybody to work or nobody applies to work corrections. A lot of people, don't they don't want to work corrections, they want to be a cop, and they get into Cook County Corrections, and they're like, corrections isn't that bad, I kind of like it here. And they just stick around. John Doe says, the California two-buy list wouldn't apply to you as a Leo, you're exempt. That is not true. You're exempt only for purposes of work. Just like the magazine capacity thing, people were like, well, cops can have any magazine capacity they want. When we were doing the 10-round band thing, the assault weapons ban, it wasn't true. As a cop, it's only stuff for work. Everything else... You're under the same rules. I can't just go buy anything that I want that's not on the list in California. It has to be for work. And then once I retire, I'm still under the same rules again. 
Blaine says, I worked from 8 last night through about 4 and spent between 4 and 5 doing a job to help a buddy out. Just helping at 1.30 Central Time, so about 25 minutes ago. Oh, you had a rough day. Anna Vargas says, I just want to say thank you for showing me and people like me that cops are normal people. Meanwhile, I love your security work advice has helped me in my career. I'm glad you like them. I'm glad to be of help. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Audrey says, talk of the two galoo. I have no idea what it looks. Hello from Scotland. Glad I caught the live stream today. Hello, Nadjikai. I'm probably murdering that, but hello. Hello from Illinois. The Airsoft Journal says, Rookie from the Netherlands greets you. Hello. Thank you for watching from the Netherlands. Squeaky Salmon says he just got the notification. That, that sucks. You got it a little late. Uh, William says, Also, thank you to everyone on here as a Leo or security. Be safe. Guys, be safe. Anna says she's unarmed security here from East Texas. That's that can be a rough job. People people don't have enough respect for the how rough of a job being unarmed security someplace can be. You got to be a, a you got to think, or you work for a really crappy company that doesn't care. But <laughs> the good people are thinkers. Kyle says, "What would the average Leo make?" I plan on working in New York. If you know what their pay scale is, I have no idea what New York the entire state's pay scale. Every little agency can pay different. Every little place. Pays a different amount. Average isn't that much. The average of it, I don't know. Maybe mid forties. I'm not. I'm not even sure. Brandon says you should be on Leo Roundtable. I watch them live when I can. To not get in trouble at work, I stay away from political stuff, and the the, the modern use of force issues people get really upset about. So they have the advantage that most of them are retired. I'm not. So I leave that to them. I'll promote their channel. I think they're doing a service for law enforcement. You should go listen to them, but they're not. Their opinions aren't necessarily my opinions. My opinions aren't necessarily their opinions. And I don't get into the political aspects of law enforcement. I, I try to avoid that when I can. I think it also, it, it waters down the training aspect here. I want to be a new, neutral third party. I'm trying to give you good advice. Uh, and my wife is bothering me again, so I think I should probably get on moving. We're 22 minutes in. Uh, one last question Josh Prezel says did you get your stuff back from your training I didn't and I completely forgot about it and I'm going to have to track him down to get my baton back because it's still in his vest thank you Josh for reminding me alright uh, sorry to cut it close but I got to take the kid to get a haircut and the wife's got to go with her friend to pick up her kid because she's got to pick her kid up next week all week on some day and something like that I don't know married guy stuff it's not exciting but uh, go check out uh, Blackhawk Defense their website and everything's down below. If you want to do the Illinois CCW class, I'm going to be there the third, teaching a bunch of it. Should be a fun time. Come hang out with me. You can see how short I really am. We'll take a picture together. You can see like your height difference compared to mine because almost everybody's taller than me. They'll have fun with that. And uh, patches and everything else, I'll put links down in the description for everybody. All right. Till uh, next week, you guys be safe. Yeah, probably before then you're going to see me though. Take care of each other.